Hello guys, welcome to our first Python API tutorial. Over the next three or so months, I'll be working on this wonderful clinical application. And if I think that there's something that's vital to your learning curve, I won't hesitate delivering it to you concisely and informatively. If you have watched any of my tutorials, you probably know that I work. I like working from my uh, desktop, but today I'll go into my dev folder. And then I want to make this uh, project called electronic health database management system e okay ehdbs yeah i want to make it official actually and then i'll just uh, cd into ehdbs okay so let me just pop this into my ide and then if you have ever worked with any with any project you know that it's good to store your applica application um, into modules uh, yeah and i'm going to subset my application into different directories and and first before i do anything uh, i'd want to first uh, activate my virtual environment so I'm going to do pip env show yep that will create my virtual environment and then I'm going to install several dependencies okay let's install the de dependencies as we come as we import them okay so I'm going to create these modules that I'll be working on and um, one of them will be base which which will be co-shared among the among the uh, across the across the application so i'm going to just mk mk dir uh, base and then again i'll create admin mm, i'll do user users and then i'll do recruitment this is actually a, uh, a, a blueprint for clinical trials okay so i'll do recruit recruitment yep and then i'll do uh inclusion criteria yes i'll do base visit can should i make that into okay let me just add an s so i have base visits and then let me figure out something else i'll do schedule vi visits schedule the visits okay and then i have um, follow up visits what else do i have maybe lab results should i do lab results or just lab let's let's do um uh, lab and then we have radiology and then uh we can do close out if I figure out anything that I should add, then I'll definitely blueprint it. Okay. So we already created uh, the directories. So the first thing that we're going to do is to uh, just is to register the blueprints. Yeah. Should I copy everything here? I don't want to mistype them. Oh, uh, okay just clear that I'll, I'll type them clear okay so um i already have all these directories and i i, I need to tell python that these are actual python directories so what i'm going to do i'm going to initialize all the folders all the directories with a danda init file so first i'll cd into admin yes and then in the admin folder i'm going to create a danda init file to tell python that this is a python directory so i'm going to touch danda init dot py danda init has two underscores uh, on both sides let me just control minus so that you see that okay and then again i'll touch admin oh, no I'll, I'll i'll touch model models dot py yeah that will hold my models and then finally uh, i'll touch routes dot py excellent here yeah. 
so I'm done with the admin so let me just move to cd dot dot slash uh, I'll do base so again I'll start by touching tender init and then I'll touch again routes and then I'll do models dot py excellent okay so I'll cd dot dot slash base visit and then again I'll touch models I'll touch routes and then I'll touch data in it I'll create the files again um next I'll cd dot dot slash um, close out and then I'll touch data in it I'll touch the routes and then I'll touch again models yeah yes we are progressing well and so first so um then next we have follow-up visit so let me just cd dot dot slash follow-up visits and then i'll touch models i'll touch routes and then i'll touch tender init yes and then cd dot dot slash labs and then i'll do the same then I need routes and then finally I'll do models and then again I'll see the dot dot slash inclusion criteria this is the place where you knock out your participants if you have some remote idea working with clinical trials yeah then I need okay then I'll see the dot dot slash um lab yeah have i worked on lab oh already worked on lab so um i'll work on radiology now okay so i'll just cd dot dot slash radiology and then i'll touch data in it and then i'll touch again route and then finally i'll touch models okay so mm -hmm. next is schedule visit okay that's just okay i'll touch models i'll touch routes and then i'll touch tender in it okay finally we'll do the users nothing actually so i'm going to just touch then the init i'm going to touch routes and then i'll finally touch models excellent so um after creating my directories my models my routes i'll start um blueprinting by just importing blueprint from flask which means i need to install flask as a dependency so i just do pip env install and then i'm going to do flask uh, right so flask is installing so i'll come to one of my let me start with the users yeah the russian place to start with so my in my init file my dunder init so users okay so flask is already installed so i'll do from okay from flask mm, blueprint yeah excellent so i just say blueprint is equal to the blueprint just imported the blueprint constructor and then i'll pass in the name of my module this is users actually so i'll do users blueprint here yeah? blue print and then next i'll just pass in the name yes and then i'll do um url prefix url underscore prefix or if if you are using 
okay if you are using templates then we'll do templates folder next so i'll do slash users for for this route okay for this blueprint and then i'll do template folder template folder are we going to work with templates maybe let's see if we're going to work with the templates sometimes i'll just do templates there and then finally do i do static folder static folder if i I've provided templates, then I can do just static, okay? Static. Excellent. Then I, I'm going to import my routes, yep, from the same directory, so I can just do uh, from dot import, yeah, from dot import routes, yeah? But if you want to explicitly declare this, you can say import, um, I'm working with the folder ehd ehd b m s yep ehdb dbs ehdbs dot uh, users dot routes okay but this definitely will give you a linting error you can see that so um, you can just you, you can you can tell the linter that we don't want you to QA this one so I'll do no QA because the error is definitely an F four zero one plenty error okay uh, okay let me just save that one okay so I'll comment that one out so I'm going to use the same same card i'm going to populate it across the across the across the the uh, the directories across the folders but i'm going to change the name of the blueprint and then i'm going to change again the no actually just the name of the uh, the blueprint okay so i'll come here to my to my admin init file and then i'll just paste this one here and then i'll change this one to admin yeah and then this will route to admin you can do one for base hope you guys are now understanding how things are moving here so this will be base and then i'll route it to base as well and save 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 don't forget to save brian base visits let me have this one as well so oops oops oops, oops. let me just do base visit in, pl in plural and then i'll definitely wrap this to base visit slash okay end points so close out let's handle the close out so when someone is 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 done going through the study they definitely have to be closed out yes they have to be closed out when they are done with the study close out they are writing that to close out and then follow up visits Follow up visits. Actually, you can. When I'm done with this, you can forward the video to something ahead because this is just redundant. So, a uh, blueprint. The inclusion criteria. Oh my goodness criteria criteria okay and then i'll just route it to inclusion criteria excellent so um i'll handle the lab uh, routing so the lab bl blueprint of lab and then i'll route it to lab 
and this is going to be a nice API, trust me. And I don't intend to just give it out for free that way. <laughs> okay, this is this is going to be radiology, and then I'm going to wrap this to slash radiology. Excellent. So the next here have recruitment. Did I work on recruitment? I did nothing in recruitment. Oh, silly me. Let me just do cd dot dot slash recruitment. Okay. Let me just touch models. Models dot py. And then I'm going to touch again. Then the init dot py. Okay. I need a new, a new font so that you can see my dub double underscores the dunders okay and then again i'll touch models routes okay routes with py excellent so paste that one there so this will be my recruitment this is where you you recruit participants into the study okay and then I'll just route it to recruitment. Ooh, ooh, recruitment. And I don't know why. I don't know why I separated recruitment with inclusion criteria. Um, maybe I'll find out the reason why later. I can't judge myself. Okay, so that's done. Can work with scheduled visits, yeah. So you d by now you know how to start um, scheduled visits. Okay, by now you probably know how to how to start registering your creating your blueprint. Okay, so that, that that's done. Do I, do, I, do, I, do I have more modules? No. Okay. Okay, guys, that that's nearly perfect. Nearly perfect. So um, the next thing that you want to do here, we have created all the folders, yeah? So um, we can just go to our, to our, our file. We can go a step back to cd dot dot. Okay, so um, I want to go back one directory. And then mm, let me cd dot dot again to I need to cd dot I don't like the way I've set up my project so I'll, I'll definitely go back one cd dot dot um, and then I'm going to okay back to the dev folder and then I want to make I want to see uh, I, I want to create another another project mkdir and then i'm going to call this i'm going to call this um i'm going to call this fol uh, folder i need to give it a different name i'm going to call this folder x okay so i want to move i want to I want to move. I want to move ehdbms into the same into X. Okay. Excellent. Oh, yes. Okay. So um, I'm going to rename. I'm going to rename my X project. Okay. Let me just. Let me just cd dot dot. No. Let me just clear this and then. Oh, I think I can't set this project poorly. So let me just MV e e X to E H D B S. Excellent. So I can CD. 
Okay, let me just close this as well. Okay, so let me just run my code. Excellent. Yes, is this what, what I was expecting? Mm, nearly it. EHDB maze. Move it. Okay, okay, so admin. So um the next thing that you want to do here is to jeez. I think I have a problem working with something here. Let me just check, 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 check. Okay, EHDBMS. Excellent. Okay. So this is so poor. I don't know what's happening here. I have two folders and I wanted to put this into the other folder. Let me Oh guys just have to excuse me to correct this one first. So dev eh HDBMS which is just set properly yeah and I'm just wondering why okay I just need to start a new terminal here we just cd desktop dev and then um, eh HDBMS and then I'll do code dot. Yes, excellent. This is what I expected. Okay, so um, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. So, pip env shell. Yes, okay, I'll pip env install flask. Okay, so we're back here. Um so all the all the all the modules that, that are created are in here, yeah. Because I want to recursively create my blueprints that, that's why I had to change my project structure. Sorry guys, sorry guys. Okay, so um, I'll now I'll now touch. I want to touch my entry file, and my entry file is going to be I'm going to touch up dot py. Yes, and then if I see the okay, I need to touch an extra file. Touch. I'm going to do slash. E. Okay, touch. And then I'm going to do EDBS, okay. And then I'm going to touch Danda init dot py. Yes, I think I typed that one correctly. Excellent. Okay. So if I come here, I'll have a Danda init dot py file. This is where I want to register my blueprints. Okay. So um, I'll do from Flask. From Flask, I'm going to import. I'm going to import Flask. Oh no, 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 no. Flask with an uppercase, okay. And then uh, the next thing that I, I need to import is uh, import lib. So I'll just clear this one here, and then I'm going to do pipnv install. Okay, uh, import import lib because I want to import several modules recursively yeah so that's installing 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 so from import lib I'm going to import mm -hmm. I'm going to import import module yep that just works it out for me let me clear this console and then I'm going to 
import SQL Alchemy, SQL Alchemy uh, as my ORM. Okay, so let me just do from Flask. No, let me install it first. It's a dependency. So um, I'll do pip env install flask underscore sql alchemy. All right. So I'm going to do from flask underscore sql alchemy import sql alchemy okay oh i have errors down here i'll resolve them i'll resolve them so um okay so the next thing that we are going to do is just to declare what db is equal to sql alchemy maybe maybe we can do session options okay can do session op options and then i'll go i'll do a dictionary here and then i can just do expire on commit first expire underscore is it always an underscore yes i think so on commit and then i'm going to do this to defaults yep and then next um hmm. do i import marshmallow right now not now not now not now this is procedural so the next thing that i'm going to do here is just to register my blueprints here so I'm, i'll do a function function for that so i'm going to define register uh, blueprint there blueprints I'm going to pass in my app there which I haven't even created yet and then um, here I'm going to just uh, declare my blueprints okay so blueprints is equal to it's going to be a long list of all the folders that we just created you remember them one of them the base folder yeah and then the next was admin and then you also had a re recruitment yeah if you can remember oh I jumped base let me just do inclusion criteria cri criteria and then I'll again prepare base visits here. Yeah. What else? Um, we had scheduled visits. Okay. And then again, we had follow of visits. Okay. Next, we have lab yeah and then we have radiology radiology we have users which one am i forgetting with here one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay base okay i don't see base visit i don't see base visits and then next close out okay i'm leaving close out here i'm leaving close out out close close out excellent so um i'll do here i'll go through the list okay so for blueprint so blueprint blueprints in blue oh no this is going to be blueprint in blueprints yeah for blueprint in blueprints yeah i think it's right there um what i'm going to do here 
not from this one this one should be a four no wonder for blueprint in blueprint and then what i'm going to do here i'm going to say module is equal to import module okay mm, and then i want to import my modules recursively yeah so i'm going to do module is equal to import module and then i'm going to do an f string here here and then inside here i'll just pass in the uh, folder the project folder ehdbs typed correctly yes ehdbs and then dot mm, i'll pass the blueprint here that we are that we are getting from the blueprints from the list of blueprints here yeah and then um so module is equal to for blueprints in for all the blueprints that i have in the list there okay for each of them okay so um i'll register my my blueprint okay so app dot register Mm, up to register blueprints and then i'll register module okay dot blueprint okay module dot blueprint okay interesting but long nearly boring but smart okay so mm, just to confirm that uh I've actually registered the blueprint. So I'll just do print here. I'm going to print. Let me just do this. I'm going to print. Blueprint for. And then I'll pass in the blueprint there. Yes. Registered yes but i'll do dot format here okay dot format let me pass in blueprint so we are mapping this blueprint to the curly brackets excellent so i'm done with that okay so what do we do here again we have defined our register blueprints and then now we can just configure our database here so i'm going to define configure database so define um configure database and then once again i'll pass in my app here so what we're going to do here uh, we're going to we're going to create our database at this point here so I'll just define uh, I'll define hmm, is this the, is this the best way to do this really? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so def let me just do I want I want to create data uh, the entire database one when someone makes the first request yeah i think i should approach it like that so i'll do at up dot before at up dot before underscore first underscore request okay so um when someone makes the first request what i want to do here is just to create my my database okay so okay so i'm going to define um create create default database so create default here yeah. so what i'm going to implement here is just to say um when someone makes the first request i'm going to define the function that's going to create my database and to do that with SQL okay, me, I'll just do db dot create all e yes 
that one works not that i hope it's definitely going to work mm -hmm. so what i need here what i need to do here next is just to uh, create my application here yeah. so i'm going to create my application so i'm going to uh, define a function for that define create underscore up and then here uh, i'm going to pass in my path and our configuration okay so now that i'm passing in the configuration here i need to i need to start to start by creating the config file but we are coming to that let me just um say my app is equal to uh the flask constructor and then i'm going to pass in here okay import name so i'm going to do under name and then um if i'm going to render templates which i'm planning to do later i'm going to do static folder is equal to um i'm going to do the default static folder to be base slash okay static okay so um next um i need to create an a configuration file because i've mentioned config here okay so um let me just say app.config dot from object and then i'm going to pass in config config there so which means i should have a config file somewhere so let me just uh let me just touch i'm going to touch um config.py yes and um what i need to do in in the config file is to just let me just open my config file here i'm going to do a uh, mods several mods that i'm going to use in the application and let me just do from os import environ okay and then here i need to start uh with the base class that i want to in inherit from and i'm, I'm going to do config here this inherits from the object class okay so here mm, I need to initialize my SQL key so I'm going to do SQL oh, oh, SQL alchemy and then I'll do my database underscore URI is equal to mm, environ oh I nearly said device dot environ and already imported environ from wise still the same environment get yep yeah. and then i'm going to get i'm going to get uh, i'm going to try to get uh, an environment variable called ehdb dbs underscore okay database url and if this one fails if this one is not set then i'll just i uh, use sqlite I'll, i want to map sqlite here okay so i'll just do sqlite and then sqlite do you okay it has to be three forward slashes and then database mm -hmm. really okay i'm going to create a database file just called database dot sqlite 3 but then again i'm going to check i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to activate uh multi-threading okay so i'm going to do check underscore same underscore thread and then i'm going to turn this one off is equal to false yeah excellent yeah and then when you're setting your sql alchemy there's the sql al alchemy trap modifications i'll just do sql alchemy 
underscore track underscore modifications I'll do false here excellent so um because this is a staging server you can set this to your staging server actually you can do IP address for the staging server so I'll just do db underscore server this is going to be my staging server you can point this to your staging server if it's a 192.168 dot I'll do a one and three zero that's not my staging so I'm just using it as a as an example but you can change that whatever it is that you feel like okay so um the next configuration that I'm going to do is the debug configuration so I'll just do class class debug config okay and then this is going to inherit from the config class and um, what I want to do here is just to set my debug to true so debug here is equal to true okay and then what I need also to do is to do it uh, to, to set a secret key here so secret key so secret underscore key is equal to mm, I'm going to do environ dot get and then here I want to I want to pass in I want to I want to get an environment variable called um e hdbs no hdbs and then a uh, secret secret key you can export that and if that one fails then we'll just look back to Mm, don't actually rely don't rely on my key you actually don't have to rely on my key you are going to provide your strong key there because mine is weak you can't rely on that trust me but you can do whatever you can provide whatever the key that you feel like mm -mm. so that's my configuration for the bug yeah so um, the next configuration that I should be looking into here is the is the mm, production. Okay, so let me just look class production production config. Yeah, this will also inherit from the config class. Yes, and then in here, what do you need to implement in the production config? Okay. Um, uh, I'll turn off the uh, debugging so debug here will be, will be equal to false and then um next we're going to do our our server our production server so we can say our our server now will change to something that points to our production server yeah and then again we'll have to we'll have to okay in production server we must force someone to we uh, to get the the key okay the secret key so and the secret key let me do secret secret underscore key is equal to um ehdbs okay is equal to let me just do that but i'm going to force someone there's no falling back to another key so i'll just do that yeah you must provide the key there okay and then the next thing that i need to do here okay so working working from working uh, in a production environment you should have a vault okay you must have a vault somewhere where you store your usernames passwords the hashes okay so um i'll do my vault address here so let me do vault vault address is equal to okay so i'll just do environ 
that get vault address okay so I'll just do vault address okay let me let me just duplicate this okay so I'll do uh, vault token as well so vault token and then I'll just os environment.get vault what Vault token token excellent and testing one two three one two three so um in our testing configuration so we have class let's just do testing config yeah this will also inherit from the config class yeah and what we need to implement here in our testing config uh we are going to to test locally so let me just do a db server here so the db server here is just is is going to be our local host or one 127.0.0.1 or .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 just local host here mm, and then again what else coming to think of it debug <laughs> should be set back to true again here interesting yeah yes and then uh secret key secret underscore key mm, we're going to just provide the sum key here is equal to this key okay and then finally maybe testing here should be true and if you're working with sqlite then we'll just do database underscore uri is equal to we want to map sqlite in, to our memory okay sqlite and then you map it to uh, three forward slashes and then let me do me memory okay that then should work excellent so yeah we are finished we are finished setting our different configuration mode so i'll just do an app underscore config dictionary here config under underscore dictionary is equal to um i'm going to do here a uh, production 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 will be equal to our production config yes and then let me just control d this twice or thrice and then i'll do um debug we need to pass in our debug config and then finally testing we need to do our testing config excellent okay so which means um we can go ahead and start implementing our vault client somewhere back here back here let's just um plan on implementing our vaults so um, i'm going to define create okay create underscore vault underscore client okay so here i'm going to pass in the app as well so in here i'm going to say let me let me install uh, a dependency for that so i'm going to do pip env install i'm going to do we're going to use hvac hwork okay and we can import it here as well so i'm going to do from hvac import vault no i'm going to import client s vault client okay excellent so if you come here let me just indent it properly i don't want errors 
So um, if you come here, what we're going to do here is uh, is to just return. Mm, we're going to return a uh, vault client. This okay. We're going to return a vault client, and then in here we're going to pass in our URL is equal to. Um, so our URL here, we're going to pull this from our configuration file here. Yeah? So this is going to be equal to app.config. And then we're going to pick our vault, vault address. You remember this? We're going to, that's going to be our URL. Okay. And then the next is our token is equal to app.config and then we're going to pick in our, our vault token remember that okay excellent so that works like that so when we are creating our app app.config from object okay and our object is the configuration file config you don't have to specify the, uh, the dot py file because python knows that it's a dot py file yeah so we, we can say here that um in production app dot production so app dot production is equal to not app <laughs> okay not app dot config okay you understand that that's fairly understandable you know production app don't app don't in our in in production we don't debug yeah yeah and then again um what you can do here again is to just do our part up up dot path is equal to path that we are passing up there yeah and then again we can just register our blueprint and then we can pass in our app there yeah and oh we are calling the uh, the blueprint function up there that we defined and then you're passing in our app now that we never specified any app up there okay so again what we're going to do is to uh, create our create our database okay configure we are going to configure our database as well so configure database and then we have to pass in our app there again what else so i think we just done so if app dot production you can check that as well production if you are in production environment then then we are going to try to read our details from the whole client here app dot vault uh app dot vault client okay is equal to mm, create vault client okay create vault client and then you can again pass in our app here yeah excellent then finally you can just return our app i think you are done there we should be done there unless there's something that we've mistyped then we come back and see and find it correct it but i don't expect to have several errors in the application okay so back to our back to our entry file here yeah now we have to work on our entry file entry file so um if because we're going to to let our work with migrations we can just do from flask oh we need to install this as a dependency let's start from that uh, from installing that so um i'll, I'll do P pnv install mm, flask underscore migrate and then uh, we can do a uh, flask script as well what else are we going to work with mm, path libya and finally let me see something again okay i think that one will just work for us 
okay so now we can say here that from mm, flask underscore migrate not yet installed installing okay and then we're going to import migrate and migrate command migrate command okay okay popping up right there now okay okay and then again from flask script just install that flask underscore script what the heck we are going to import manager Flask underscore script, yeah. You know it's not installing. I have a linter error. Okay, and then um, from OS also we are going we are going to import um environ and then finally from pathlib we're going to import okay import prod with capital P okay it's the constructor excellent okay mm, if I think if I, if I think of anything again then I'll just install the uh, dependency VPN env install sys Okay, so um, from says import, I'm going to import exit as well. Excellent. So, so we can just get started with importing our. Okay, now no, from config. Okay, the file that we, we created, we're going to import. Uh, app underscore config underscore dictionary that we created here and then we can just do again from uh, eh dbs we are going to import uh, we are going to import create app create app okay this function here in our lender init file create app okay and then again we'll pick in, uh, we will import the db should have initial as um, mesh model in the first place as well but we'll do that later when it comes okay what we're going to say here is to just uh, get our get config underscore mode and then here is equal to environ dot get I'm going to set an environment variable here called e hdbs. Let me do this one in hdbs, and then um, I'll just do config mode yes, and then if this one is not set, I'll just fall back to debug. Okay. So I'm going to try here. I'm going to try okay config underscore mod and need to be a little bit fast right now. Is equal to up uh, underscore config. This was a config date. Let me check. Okay, config date. Let me not mess my stuff up. Yep. is equal to app config dictionary and then I'm going to get um, get underscore config mode in the dictionary that okay this is the, will, will be either the bug or the the mode that we've set okay so get config mode and then um, 
I'll capitalize this. Capitalize dot, and then if we if we have an error except except key error, then you can just exit, and then we're going to exit with. I can just exit this with a with an invalid invalid uh, configuration mode okay config mode config mode okay so here mm, let me just say app is equal to create okay create up here so create underscore up and then I'm going to pass in the path. So path dot current working directory. So path dot current working directory. And then I'll pass in the config. Config mode. Okay. Excellent. So uh, this. Okay. I'll, I'll just come back and say something when I'm done typing this. So here. Um, I'll just do initialize my db db dot init underscore db dot init up and then I'll pass in um, my app here and then finally not finally as finally pre finally <laughs> I'll do my grade is equal to my grade and then I'll pass in up and db yes and then I'll do manager dot add underscore command and then um, I'll do db here and migrate command that we intend to use okay finally 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 um, if if then the name is equal to then the main there's an error here I can I can see that I'm not assigning here okay so what I'm going to do I can do manager.run if I want to uh, migrate create create my migrations okay I can do manager.run yeah or the one which you expected I can just do up dot up dot run excellent uh -huh. from OS import environ uh, so I, need, I just need to reload my uh, my IDE I need to reload my IDE so that it can pick everything, everything. Let me just see it to desktop dev, and then I'll do ehdbs and do that. Oh, that was a very very long t tutorial. Okay, so here I'm going to um, just do pip in visual to activate my virtual environment, and then. Let me try a flask run, okay? So from OS import, okay, no wonder import environment, okay, that one should now work. Python app.py, you can do Python app.py or cannot import manager, okay. Um, one thing that we need to do here is just to let me pip let me create my requirements okay pip env um and then i'm going to uh, run to run pip uh, pip, mm -hmm, pip freeze okay pip freeze requirements oh not that requirements that's txt 
have to create my requirements okay you can also run p uh, p in env log minus minus r requirements it still will work excellent am i forgetting something here okay migrate is equal to migrate command and then we pass in our database and then here i should do manager okay is equal to let me just do manage in lower case yeah manager is equal to manager and then i'll pass in up here yeah excellent so let me see if this one runs python app.py okay so only have a problem here and i don't know why this manage is not oh I... okay manager i mean i miss type something that's so silly of me especially in a tutorial let me see if this one now runs okay so debug is not callable so that's happening because okay see this one should be just the angle brackets oh never saw that coming 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 oh excellent 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 okay let me save that and then I'll clear and then come back and just run the file so flask object has no attribute okay line 28 app dot register blueprint why is that happening okay it, it should be app dot register blueprint not blueprints excellent uh okay oh that's so sweet so um all our blue prints have been registered and then um, we are in debug mode so I just want to see if whatever we've done will work because you said that we said that on our first request we should create our database let me let me just pop my browser here and I need to resize it just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit and I, I'm going to click to, to make a request here yeah and I'll see if that creates a database somewhere okay so let me just click on this control click there is our database okay Kai so um I think that that should uh, end our tutorial it has been a very very long one and um, in our next tutorial we should start by routing and then we'll see how to create our models how to 